Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And today I'm doing my very first book haul video. So yesterday I went to a thrift bookstore with my two friends, Tyler and Mark, who both have very good YouTube channels. They talk about books as well. They're more popular than I am. I think the content of my videos are better. So we went to a bookstore near my friend Mark's house where they sell um, cheap or used or um, you know special edition books. And I probably bought more books in this one day than I ever have in my entire life. So I thought, hey, I have a YouTube channel now. Why not do a video on it? So my first book I bought is Ben-Hur, written by Lou Wallace. And it was only $9, which is incredible because if you look inside the book, there's a lot of really great illustrations. I've actually never seen the classic movie Ben-Hur or, you know, the, the 20, was it, 2014 one remake. So the story is uh, very new to me. So I'm excited to read the book. I've heard it's a classic and I love all things ancient Rome. I love all things, especially related to gladiators. I've actually been to the Circus Maximus in Italy before. So I'm excited to read this book and eventually watch the movies and see, you know, why the story is so beloved and why it's been so beloved for so many years, so many uh, decades. Sticking with the ancient Rome topics, I have the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. Um, this is an abridged version, if you can believe it. It's roughly, oh my God, it's, it looks like it ends at 1,200. 52 pages. And this is the bridge version, um, which is crazy. This is by Edward Gibbon, and it's part of the modern library classics. The fall of ancient Rome is a bit of a blind spot for me. I'm fascinated by the Roman Republic and its fall, um, and then the subsequent rise of the Julio Claudian Empire, founded by Gaius Julius Caesar. Um, and I know some of the Roman emperors after that, like Hadrian, Marcus Aurelius, and things like that. But the fall of the Roman Empire is definitely a huge blind spot for me. I know it was divided towards the end, so I'm excited for this book. When I eventually get to it, I don't think I'll probably read it all at once. Um, I think you know I'll probably read books in between it because it's so such a big book. But this is definitely an exciting uh, pick for me. My friend Mark, who I went with, found this book and ran up to me and gave it to me. Said Mark and said Matt, you need to buy this. So I did. And it's a good good addition too. I mean, there were some other you know history books there that were you know kind of in more rugged shape, but I mean, this version is in really great quality. Um, so I'm excited to get to it when I eventually do, but it'll probably be a little while from now. And if you're interested in ancient Rome, I have a video on Julius Caesar's Civil War commentaries. It's pretty great, if I must say so myself. Very undervalued. Only got like 15 views, but you know, time to boost that up. Next, I have a collection of short stories by Guy de Maupassant, I think. That's how the uh, woman running the uh, bookstore pronounced the name, I think. I do not know anything about this author, except for the fact that he's French. He's well known for writing um, short stories and he died when he was only 42 in prison. So I'm interested in doing more research to him, but um, I was told by, again, my friend Mark, that F. Scott Fitzgerald, who's one of my favorite authors of all time, by the way, check out my Great Gatsby review. It's pretty great as well. He said that, F. Scott Fitzgerald was greatly inspired by Maupassant, so I'm very excited to read these short stories when I get to them. It'll be a very long time because I bought so many books. I should also mention that this is the Penguins Classic Edition. And I did hear from the woman who ran the bookstore that um, some of his versions get messed up with because in their translations, um, but she seemed like she was pretty high on this version. So if you're looking to get into these short stories, this will probably be the opportunity to do so. I'll probably do, be doing reviews for this book at some point because it's relatively short. And I'm excited to see like how Fitzgerald was inspired by this author. So, you know, look forward to that when it comes out. And finally, uh, two books. Uh, well, one's a play and one's a book. They are Exiles by James Joyce and Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. According to the back of this book, Exiles, this is James Joyce's only play um, he's ever written. It was written in 1916 after Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, but before Ulysses. And this is supposedly about um, a writer, an Irish writer returning to Dublin. So I wonder who that's inspired by. I'm excited to get into this one as well. Again, it's pretty short. I have some passing knowledge of Irish literature. I've read pretty much all of Martin McDonagh's plays. I would imagine Martin McDonagh was in some way inspired by James Joyce. So I'm interested in seeing where that inspiration came from. And if it's even prevalent, I'm just kind of guessing there. And yes, Portrait of the Arts as a Young Man. I have read parts of this book before in college, but because I was in college, I didn't care really. Uh, so I don't know anything about this book other than that the main character of this book is also in Ulysses, so you have to read this before you read this. And I just want to clarify that I'm planning on reading Ulysses this summer at some point. Um, so I'm trying to do, I'm trying to read as much James Joyce as I can, um, just to get ready for that book. It'll probably be a series, and you know, probably starting with both Exiles and Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. 
Um, so look forward to that as well. So that's my book haul collection. It's my first time doing a video like this. So bear with me for any, you know, awkwardness. I want to know what you think of these books that I picked out, if you read any of them. I'm most interested in um, Maupassant because I don't know much about him. I've never read anything about him before. Um, so if you are familiar with his works, you know, I would say, anyone who's read The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, I'm very interested in hearing what you'd say about that book as well, because I'm just fascinated by Roman history and I'm excited to read it at some point. It's just a matter of time and motivation. So that's all from me. Um, if you want to check out my other friends' YouTube channels, I will link them in the description below. Mark has a classic bookshelf collection and some other videos. He did a video on Shakespeare recently, which is very good. And Tyler just started his YouTube channel with uh, where to get started on Haruki Murakami. I never read Haruki Murakami, but as someone who's never read the book, I found the video to be very insightful and helpful. Um, <laughs> And I have a video on The Great Gatsby and on Julius Caesar's Civil War commentaries. And I'll eventually be doing a review from Noble House by James Clavell. And I will probably be reading Sun Also Rise at some point by Ernest Hemingway. So that's all from me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You made it this far. Again, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my friends' channels. Thank you so much for making it this far. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.